You're listening to NOAA's All Hazards Radio, station KWO35 in New York City. This broadcast originates from the National Weather Service Forecast Office located on the grounds of Brookhaven National Laboratory in Upton, New York. Station KWO35 broadcasts on a frequency of 162.55 MHz. Here is the hazardous weather outlook for southeast New York, northeast New Jersey, southern Connecticut, and adjacent coastal waters, including the greater New York metropolitan area. Day 1, today and tonight. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Days 2 through 7, Friday through Thursday. Recent models are predicting that a major hurricane will strike the greater New York City metropolitan area and could make landfall on the mouth of the Hudson River and impact New York City Sunday afternoon. It is too early to track and determine the intensity of this storm, but experts believe that the storm will reach major hurricane status. All residents of the greater New York metropolitan area are strongly advised to remain vigilant and tune into local news stations for updates from the National Hurricane Center and the National Weather Service. Be prepared to take action if needed. The National Weather Service in Upton, New York has issued a tropical storm watch for southeastern New York, including all five boroughs of New York City, northeastern New Jersey, southern Connecticut, and adjacent coastal waters. A tropical storm watch means that tropical storm conditions, which are sustained winds of 39 miles per hour or higher associated with the tropical storm are possible within 48 hours. Tropical Storm Brady has formed approximately 500 miles off the coast of New York City. Tropical Storm Force winds are possible Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. As of the 5 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Advisory, Tropical Storm Brady is located approximately 400 miles off the coast of New York City. Current storm motion is west at 10 miles per hour. Maximum sustained winds are near 50 miles per hour, with higher gusts on its current track. Tropical Storm Brady is forecasted to rapidly strengthen into a hurricane later today, with landfall expected Tuesday afternoon on the mouth of the Hudson River. Storm surge of 3 to 5 feet is expected in coastal areas. Monitor local media and NOAA Weather Radio for the latest information on the track and intensity. The National Weather Service in Upton, New York has issued a storm surge watch for southeastern New York, including all five boroughs of New York City, northeastern New Jersey, southern Connecticut, and adjacent coastal waters. A storm surge watch means life-threatening inundation from rising water moving inland from the shoreline is possible within 48 hours. Storm surge. Storm surge of 3 to 5 feet is expected Tuesday afternoon as Tropical Storm Brady makes landfall. Isolated areas of 4 to 6 feet are possible. The storm surge levels may intensify if Tropical Storm Brady strengthens, which it is expected to rapidly strengthen over the next two days. During a storm surge, avoid the coast as the storm surge can flood the beach within a few minutes. Please move farther inland for your safety. Monitor local media outlets as well as the National Hurricane Center and the National Weather Service for more updates on the track and intensity of the storm.
The National Weather Service in Upton, New York has issued a hurricane watch for southeastern New York, including all five boroughs of New York City, northeastern New Jersey, southern Connecticut, and adjacent coastal waters. A hurricane watch means that hurricane conditions, which are sustained winds of 64 knots or 74 miles per hour or greater associated with the hurricane are expected within 48 hours. Tropical Storm Brady has rapidly strengthened into a hurricane and is expected to make landfall on the mouth of the Hudson River and impact the New York City area late Tuesday afternoon. Tropical storm force winds are expected late Tuesday morning, with hurricane force winds expected to start late Tuesday afternoon, and lasting until Wednesday night. As of 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the center of Hurricane Brady was located approximately 300 miles off the coast of New York City. Brady is currently a Category 2 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 110 miles per hour, with gusts of up to 120 miles per hour. Minimal central pressure last measured by Hurricane Hunter's aircraft was 967 millibars, or 28.56 inches. On the current forecast track, Brady is expected to rapidly strengthen due to very warm waters, and will make landfall on the Hudson River before striking New York City as a Category 5 hurricane with winds of up to 160 miles per hour. Storm surge of 4 to 6 feet is expected in coastal areas. All boaters are advised to report back to port by Monday night before the onset of tropical storm conditions on Tuesday. Be prepared to evacuate once a hurricane warning is issued, or once told by local authorities. Good afternoon. I am your host James Cunningham, with a breaking story coming out of New York City. A major hurricane is expected to strike New York City late Tuesday afternoon. According to the National Hurricane Center, Hurricane Brady is a Category 2 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of up to 110 miles per hour, with gusts of up to 120 miles per hour. Due to very warm waters in coastal New York and New Jersey, it is expected to rapidly strengthen and... Oh my God! This is certainly bad news. It is expected to make landfall as a Category 5 hurricane with winds of up to 160 miles per hour. A hurricane watch and storm surge watch is in effect for southeastern New York, northeastern New Jersey, southern Connecticut, and adjacent coastal waters as storm surges of 4 to 6 feet are expected with this storm. Let's turn it over to meteorologist Kate Williams, with more on this storm. Thank you, James. This is certainly something we have never thought of here in New York City. Usually the coastal waters here are very cold and hurricanes barely strike here. The last tropical system we had was Sandy back in 2012. Apparently, the waters are very warm in coastal New York and New Jersey, with water temperatures exceeding 90 degrees. That is perfect for major hurricanes, and Brady is in the right conditions to become a monster hurricane. It is expected that Hurricane Brady will rapidly intensify over the next 24 hours, and could be a Category 5 hurricane by then, giving the likely Category 5 landfall of this storm. Residents of New York City should start to prepare supplies for evacuating the city, such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight a fully charged cell phone, and a battery-powered radio. Back over to James. Thank you, Kate. We have a reporter live on the scene near Times Square. How are things going in New York City at this minute? Thank you for asking. Right now, 
Things in New York City seem very normal despite the major hurricane landfall expected Tuesday afternoon. People still have a few days to prepare for the storm, and for now most people are living their daily lives, and taxis and subways are still running full service. Mayor Bill de Blasio is expected to deliver a message to the citizens of New York City within the next few hours about the preparations for the storm. The statement will be aired on all news stations in New York City. Like meteorologist Kate Williams said, this is going to be a monster storm, likely making landfall here as a Category 5 hurricane, due to very warm coastal waters in New York and New Jersey. Residents need to start thinking of a plan either evacuating the city, or riding out the storm. Back over to James. Thank you. In other news, all beaches in coastal New York and New Jersey are expected to close starting at 8 p.m. tonight, according to Mayor Bill de Blasio. He will state that in his statement regarding preparations for the storm. This is ABC 7 Eyewitness News, now switching over to regular programming. Good evening, my fellow citizens of New York City. This is your mayor, Bill de Blasio speaking. Over the past few hours I have met with the mayors of all cities in the New York metropolitan area to discuss preparations for the incoming landfall of Hurricane Brady. We have agreed to close all beaches in coastal New Jersey, New York, and Connecticut starting at 8 p.m. tonight. All citizens must be off all beaches at that time, if you are on the beach past 8 o'clock, you will be arrested and charged with the fullest extent of the law. We have also agreed to cancel or postpone all public events that will take place over the next few weeks, including all sporting events, concerts, plays, or anything that requires a public gathering. I, myself will be implementing a voluntary evacuation order for the New York metropolitan area starting at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Those that would like to comply to the order may leave as they please. I say that this is only a voluntary order. If you want to evacuate, take necessary supplies with you, such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a fully charged cell phone, and a battery-powered radio to last you for a few weeks. This may be a mandatory order if the storm gets closer to our area. I will also order the shutdown of all taxi, bus, and subway services except for evacuation purposes. All of these precautions are necessary to protect our citizens from an incoming major hurricane. Thank you, and God bless.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the New York Police Department. Mayor Bill de Blasio is putting the entire New York City metropolitan area under a voluntary evacuation order as of 7 a.m. tomorrow morning due to the incoming landfall of Hurricane Brady. If you would like to evacuate, you can do so. This is only a voluntary order. It may be mandatory if the storm gets closer to New York City. When you evacuate, take essential supplies with you, such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a fully charged cell phone, a battery-powered radio with extra batteries, and a first aid kit to last you for a few weeks. In addition, all public events have been cancelled or postponed in the area for the next few weeks. Beaches along the coast will be closed effective as of 8 p.m. tonight, and public transportation will be shut down, except for evacuation purposes. Stay tuned to local media outlets as well as an OAA Weather Radio for more information on the situation. Extremely dangerous and life-threatening Hurricane Brady bearing down on the New York City metropolitan area, the National Weather Service in Upton, New York has issued a hurricane warning for the following counties, in New York, Queens, Kings, Rockland, Bronx, New York, Richmond, Nassau, Orange, Putnam, Westchester, and Suffolk, and the following counties, in New Jersey, Bergen, Hudson, Essex, Passaic, Union, Sussex, and Morris, and the following counties, in Connecticut, Fairfield, New Haven, Middlesex, and New London, a hurricane warning means that hurricane conditions, which are sustained winds of 64 knots or 74 miles per hour associated with the hurricane are expected within 36 hours. Brady is continuing its path towards the New York metropolitan area, and will make landfall on the mouth of the Hudson River within the next 36 hours. As of 5 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the eye of Hurricane Brady was located 150 miles off the coast of New York City. Storm motion is west at 15 miles per hour. Brady is currently an extremely dangerous Category 5 hurricane on the Saphir Simpson scale, with maximum sustained winds of up to 180 miles per hour, with gusts of up to 200 miles per hour. It is expected that the forward motion of Brady will increase to 20 miles per hour within the next 12 to 24 hours on its current forecast track. Hurricane Brady will continue to strengthen, and will make landfall Tuesday afternoon in New York City with maximum sustained winds of up to 215 miles per hour. Minimum central pressure last measured by Hurricane Hunter's aircraft is 900 millibars, or 26.58 inches. Hurricane force winds extend out 150 miles from the center, with tropical storm force winds extending out 275 miles. 12 to 24 inches of storm surge are expected along the coast, with isolated areas of 30 inches possible. Manufactured homes will suffer extensive damage or total destruction, and mobile homes will be completely obliterated. Expect long-lasting power outages lasting for months after the storm. All trees will be uprooted or snapped blocking many roads. Rivers and lakes will overflow, causing massive flooding to spread many miles inland destroying small structures towards the coast and leaving larger structures with severe damage. Storm surges may destroy roads and bridges in coastal locations. Drinking water and sewer systems may be interrupted, and as a result, flood waters may be toxic. Residences that are located near the coast will be inaccessible or even uninhabitable after the storm passes. Widespread tornadoes are expected with this storm with some possibly strong and long-tracked precautionary preparedness actions. Now is the time to check your emergency plan and to take necessary steps to secure your home or business. A mandatory evacuation order has been put into effect for the Warren area. Efforts should be underway to protect your life and property. Ensure your survival kit contains at least three weeks of non-perishable food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a fully charged cell phone, a battery-powered radio with extra batteries, and a first aid kit for each member of the family. If you live in an area that is prone to high winds and flooding, evacuate to an inland location immediately. Be sure to inform your friends and family of your survival plan. If you are currently visiting the area and staying in a hotel, 
management will provide you with necessary instructions on how to deal with the approaching storm. Rainfall amounts will be around 18 to 24 inches, with isolated amounts of 36 inches possible. Listen to advice from local law enforcement. Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. If you don't, you will be putting your life in extreme danger. The next update on Brady will be at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Tune into local media outlets as well as NOAA Weather Radio for more information on this dangerous situation. Storm surge warning in effect until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday. The National Weather Service in Upton, New York has issued a storm surge warning, which is in effect until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday. Location, coastal areas of northeast New Jersey, southeast New York, and southern Connecticut. Timing, storm surge is expected Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday evening as Hurricane Brady approaches the coast. Storm surge. There is the potential of flooded inundation of 12 to 24 feet above ground level in parts of the warning area. A storm surge warning means that hazardous storm surge is occurring or imminent. Coastal residents in the warned area should be alert for coastal flooding and take appropriate action to protect life and property. Boaters should seek safe harbor immediately until the threat passes. Please tune into local media outlets as well as NOAA Weather Radio for more information on this dangerous situation. The National Weather Service in Upton has issued a flash flood watch for northeastern New Jersey, southeast New York, including New York City, and southern Connecticut, which is in effect until 6 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Thursday. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Hurricane Brady has been rapidly moving west and is rapidly intensifying due to eye-wall replacement cycles and very warm coastal waters. These eye-wall replacement cycles will create a wider area of heavy rainfall across the worn area as the storm continues its track towards New York City. Rainfall amounts of 18 to 24 inches are expected with the potential for some areas to exceed 36 inches of rain. This will cause widespread, catastrophic flooding to occur. The rain will start in the area Tuesday morning and will continue to fall until Thursday afternoon. Rivers in the area can have the potential to overflow, causing even more flooding in the area. A flash flood watch means that conditions may develop that lead to flash flooding. Flash flooding is a very dangerous situation. You should monitor later forecasts and be prepared to take action should flash flood warnings be issued. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 342 for all of northeastern New Jersey, southeastern New York, and southern Connecticut, which is in effect until 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday. The outer bands of Hurricane Brady will start spreading into the watch area as the storm continues to intensify. There is a high risk of tornadoes in the stronger cells. The greatest risk of tornadoes is in the five boroughs of New York City. While many tornadoes will be weak, there is the potential that a few tornadoes can be strong and long-tracked. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. Persons in these areas should be on the lookout for threatening weather conditions, and listen for the latest statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio. 
commercial radio or other media outlets for the latest severe weather information. Civil danger for the New York metropolitan area. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Hurricane Brady has intensified rapidly and is expected to make landfall on the mouth of the Hudson River and will impact the New York City metropolitan area within the next 12 hours. At 5 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the eye of Hurricane Brady was located approximately 75 miles off the mouth of the Hudson River. Brady is an unprecedentedly powerful Category 5 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson scale, with maximum sustained winds of 215 miles per hour, with gusts of up to 240 miles per hour, making it tied for the fastest sustained winds in a hurricane with Hurricane Patricia in 2015. Minimal central pressure last measured by Hurricane Hunter's aircraft was 875 millibars, or 26.15 inches, making it the most intense hurricane in the Atlantic Basin, beating Hurricane Wilma of 2005. Slight weakening is expected before the storm makes landfall, but will still impact New York City as a very strong Category 5 hurricane. Brady is moving west at 20 miles per hour with a shift in the northwest expected. Hurricane force winds extend out 200 miles from the center, with tropical storm force winds extending out 375 miles. The following impacts will be expected. The New York metropolitan area will be left uninhabitable for several months, even years. Almost all well-constructed homes will be obliterated, with no remains of the structures left outstanding. Larger buildings such as skyscrapers and apartment complexes will sway violently until the point of complete collapse. All windows will be blown out. Large chunks of airborne debris will spread out for several miles. Large objects such as vehicles, household appliances will be thrown around by the winds and will be completely destroyed. High-profile vehicles will almost certainly be overturned. People and animals who venture outdoors during the onset of hurricane force winds will be killed instantly by flying debris. Power poles will be blown around, causing power outages that will last for an indefinite period of time. All trees will be ripped from the ground. Storm surge flooding is expected with coastal structures being decimated. Major beach erosion is likely due to extreme coastal flooding. People that live in the area will almost certainly not recognize their area before the storm impacted. A mandatory evacuation order is in effect for the warned area. Follow specific evacuation routes set up by your local authorities. This is a mass casualty situation. You will face certain death if you do not evacuate. 
Stay off the telephone lines unless you have an emergency. Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. Tune into local media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. Good morning. This is breaking news coming out of New York City. We have just received an update on Hurricane Brady and... Oh. My. God. Brady is only 12 hours away from landfall, and, holy cow. The winds in this thing are as fast as Hurricane Patricia's peak winds back in 2015 and the pressure is lower than Hurricane Wilma's back in 2005. This is going to be one monster of a storm, folks. It's definitely going to cause much more damage than Katrina. The civil danger warning that was just issued for the New York City area might have the scariest wording for an emergency alert system broadcast I have ever seen in my 20 years of working in the news, and this is no joke. This might be the worst tropical cyclone to hit Earth in its 4 billion years of existence. People that have received this message are advised to evacuate now. Now means now. Tropical storm conditions are expected to start within the next few hours. We have a reporter live in Times Square at this time. What is going on down there? I am live in Times Square, and it is absolutely chaos. The storm hasn't even made landfall yet, but rain has started and people are running for their lives to get out of the city. I mean, this is nothing we have ever seen before. Taxi, bus, and subway services were shut down except for evacuation purposes, and now they are closed permanently due to the incoming storm. This city is going to be a ghost town within the next few hours, and it could be wiped off the face of the earth due to this hurricane of unprecedented strength and power. I mean, it might take a few decades for the city to recover from this. People are now taking pictures of famous landmarks in the city because they will never be seen again. New York City has been destroyed in so many movies, but now it's going to be destroyed in real life. I have to go. I don't want to risk my life in this storm. Back over to James. Oh my goodness, that literally sounded like a scene from a movie where the world ends completely. Folks, if you are in New York City and surrounding areas, this is your last chance to evacuate the city or it will be too late. If you do not leave the city, you will almost certainly be killed even if you shelter underground, as this storm has the potential to cause billions of dollars in damage, even wiping cities off the face of the earth. This station, along with all other news and radio stations in New York City will be shutting down indefinitely due to the storm. I am going to evacuate New York City for my own safety. This is James Cunningham, saying goodbye. This is ABC Eyewitness News, with a breaking story. The National Weather Service in Upton, New York has issued an extreme wind warning for Suffolk County in southeastern New York, Nassau County in southeastern New York, Richmond County in southeastern New York, Kings County in southeastern New York, Queens County in southeastern New York, New York County in southeastern New York, Rockland County in southeastern New York, Bronx County in southeastern New York, Orange County in southeastern New York, Westchester County in southeastern New York, Putnam County in southeastern New York, Bergen County in northeast New Jersey, Hudson County in northeast New Jersey, Passaic County in northeast New Jersey, Union County in northeastern New Jersey, Essex County in northeastern New Jersey, 
until 8.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 3.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated extreme winds in excess of 200 miles per hour associated with the eye wall of Hurricane Brady were moving onshore. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Take cover now. Treat these imminent extreme winds as if a tornado was approaching and move immediately to the safest room in your shelter. Take action now to protect your life. The safest place to be during a major landfalling hurricane is in a reinforced interior room away from windows, or in a basement, if one is available. Get under a table or other piece of sturdy furniture. Use mattresses, blankets, or pillows to cover your head and body. Remain in place through the passage of these life-threatening conditions. The National Weather Service in Upton, New York has issued an extreme wind warning for Fairfield County in Southern Connecticut, New Haven County in Southern Connecticut, Middlesex County in Southern Connecticut, New London County in Southern Connecticut, until 8.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 3.50 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated extreme winds in excess of 185 miles per hour associated with the eye wall of Hurricane Brady were moving onshore. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Take cover now. Treat these imminent extreme winds as if a tornado was approaching, and move immediately to the safest room in your shelter. Take action now to protect your life. The safest place to be during a major landfalling hurricane is in a reinforced interior room away from windows, or in a basement, if one is available. Get under a table or other piece of sturdy furniture. Use mattresses, blankets, or pillows to cover your head and body. Remain in place through the passage of these life-threatening conditions. emergency for the greater New York City metropolitan area. This is a potential mass casualty situation. The National Weather Service in Upton, New York has issued a tornado warning for Southern Rockland County in southeastern New York, Bronx County in southeastern New York, New York County in southeastern New York, Richmond County in southeastern New York, 
Queens County in southeastern New York, Kings County in southeastern New York, Nassau County in southeastern New York, Western Suffolk County in southeastern New York, Eastern Bergen County in northeastern New Jersey, Hudson County in northeastern New Jersey, Eastern Essex County in northeastern New Jersey, until 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 5.12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed very large, violent, an extremely dangerous tornado capable of causing total destruction was located near Newark, moving east at 50 miles per hour. All residents listening to this message are strongly advised to take cover immediately. Hazard, deadly tornado. Source, radar confirmed large wedge tornado. At 5.15 p.m., total destruction was reported at the Newark Liberty International Airport. At 5.17 p.m., National Weather Service Doppler radar has confirmed this tornado to be 2.5 miles wide, containing winds in excess of 275 miles per hour. Impact. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. You could be killed if not underground, or not in a tornado shelter. Complete destruction of entire neighborhoods is likely. Many well-built homes and businesses will be completely swept from their foundations. Trees will block most roadways. Mass devastation is highly likely making the area unrecognizable to survivors. Locations impacted include New York City, Newark, Union City, Kearney, North Arlington, Hoboken, Jersey City, Hempstead, and Long Beach. This is an extremely dangerous tornado with complete devastation likely. Do not delay. Seek shelter now. If no underground shelter is available, seek shelter in, in an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building, and if time allows, consider moving to an underground shelter elsewhere. Mobile homes will provide no shelter from this tornado. Flash Flood Emergency for Southern Connecticut The National Weather Service in Upton, New York has issued a flash flood warning for Fairfield County in Southern Connecticut, New Haven County in Southern Connecticut, Middlesex County in Southern Connecticut, New London County in Southern Connecticut, until 12.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday, at 5.58 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated heavy rain across the Warren area. Life-threatening flash flooding is already occurring. This is a flash flood emergency for southern Connecticut. Seek higher ground now. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Stamford, Norwalk, Bridgeport, Milford, New Haven, Shelton, Ansonia, West Haven, Clinton, Waterford, and New London. Move to higher ground now. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Do not attempt to travel, unless you are fleeing an area subject to flooding, or under an evacuation order. A flash flood warning means that flooding is imminent or occurring. If you are in the worn area, move to higher ground immediately. Residents living along streams and creeks should take immediate precautions to protect life and property. Good morning. I'm your host Stephen Lawrence, with a developing story coming out of what once was New York City. Hurricane Brady has struck New York City, and oh. My. God. I'm getting reports that the entire city has been wiped off the face of the earth. There's nothing left in the city. No skyscrapers, no transportation, no people. All there really is are huge chunks of debris lying around. It feels like this city was struck by a nuclear bomb, or was never built. In addition, storm crews are having an extremely difficult time cleaning up the city, as there is catastrophic flooding and debris covering nearly all roads in midtown Manhattan and surrounding areas. 
Folks, it is going to take several decades to build the city back to its former glory, but most likely we will never see it again. We have a reporter live on scene in what was Manhattan. Tell me how the destruction was. I am currently flying in a helicopter over the remains of the New York City metropolitan area, and I am just shocked beyond belief to see what I am currently seeing right now. One of the most iconic cities in the entire world, one of the most popular tourist destinations, gone. All by a monster hurricane that we have never seen before. All of the iconic landmarks of the city, stripped from their foundations. All skyscrapers that were once towering over the city, also swept away from their foundations, including the One World Trade Center and the Empire State Building. New York City has always been destroyed in movies, but I never expected this in real life. I can't even describe this as destruction. What I am describing here is an apocalyptic wasteland. Tropical systems almost never strike here due to the typically cold ocean waters. But for some unknown reason, the waters in coastal New York and New Jersey were much warmer than normal, with temperatures of over 90 degrees. These are favorable conditions for monster hurricanes, and took one of our cities right from us. Thankfully, approximately 95% of the metro's population evacuated before the storm's wrath of destruction. I'm pretty sure the other 5% were killed during the storm. I can already see that this storm has caused billions, even trillions of dollars in damage. Even worse, there are rumors going around that Brady has destroyed the Indian Point Energy Center in Buchanan. It hasn't been confirmed if the plant was destroyed or not, but there is a very high chance of it being leveled. President Trump has already declared a state of emergency for New York City and surrounding areas, and is expected to speak to the nation at 8 p.m. tonight. Back over to you, Stephen. Now. Just wow. I can't believe what you just said. And did you just say that there are rumors going around saying that the Indian Point Energy Center in Buchanan was destroyed? If that's true, that just adds more fuel to the fire. Radioactive materials could be released into the air. This is CBS News, with a special report.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. President Donald Trump has declared a state of emergency for the entire New York metropolitan area. Catastrophic even apocalyptic annihilation as a result from Hurricane Brady has been reported in the region. Reports claim that there are no buildings, vehicles, and people left. All there is, are huge chunks of debris laying around. All power grids have cut off in the region, and the entire area will be without power for an indefinite period of time. The water supply has also been interrupted, and the floodwaters have been toxic in some areas. In addition, the Statue of Liberty, the Empire State Building, the One World Trade Center, and other landmarks in the city, have been completely swept from their foundations, and are completely obliterated into thousands of pieces. Also, a disturbing report is confirmed, that the entirety of Long Island has been completely wiped off the face of the earth. Other areas such as Bridgeport, Philadelphia, Atlantic City, Dover, Harrisburg, Allentown, and Wilkes-Barre Scranton are in much better condition than New York, but still have sustained considerable damage. Approximately 95% of the metro's population evacuated before the storm's unprecedented wrath of destruction. There is an almost guarantee that the other 5% are dead or missing. Do not return home, I repeat, do not return home. There is absolutely no home to return to, as it is most likely swept from its foundation. In addition, there are rumors going around stating that the Indian Point Energy Center in Buchanan has been destroyed, but this has not been confirmed at this time. President Trump is expected to speak to the nation at 8 p.m. tonight regarding the destruction from the storm. Please stay tuned for more information when it becomes available. Good evening, my fellow Americans. First of all, I am not accepting any questions at this time. We have probably just witnessed, and I mean it, the worst natural disaster in the 4 billion year history of planet Earth. An unprecedentedly powerful hurricane, Brady, has struck our country's largest city, as well as a hotspot for international travelers, New York City. I cannot believe what reports I am getting from local news outlets across the country. The entire city, as well as the rest of the metro, has been reduced to nothing. There are no buildings, no trees, no cars, no humans left. There is just massive chunks of debris covering almost everywhere, including all roads in this area. I wouldn't be surprised if the damage count in dollars was in the billions, even trillions. Even worse, I have been received confirmation, and I say this with a heavy heart, that almost all landmarks in New York City have been swept from their foundations and have been destroyed into thousands of pieces, including the One World Trade Center, the Empire State Building, the Statue of Liberty, and many others. Storm crews are having an immensely difficult time cleaning the area up, as all roads in the area are flooded and are covered with debris. Power poles have also been destroyed, and the entire area is without power, probably for a very, very long time. This storm has also made some of the flood waters toxic due to the interruption of the water supply. I am very pessimistic to say this, but I do not think that New York City will ever recover from this disaster. I have enacted a state of emergency for the New York metropolitan area until further notice. I will also visit the area sometime soon to help clean up the destruction left behind by Brady. The best case scenario is that it will take several decades, maybe even a century for the city to return back to its former glory. My thoughts and prayers go out to all the people that lost their lives, lost their homes, lost family members and friends, and called this area home. I honestly can't even imagine what these people are going through right now. Even in the darkest of times, America will always rise up and become stronger as a nation. We will always stand united for our beautiful country and will always fight to the very end with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for listening for this message, and God bless the United States of America.
the following messages transmitted at the request of the New York State Emergency Management Agency. A radiological advisory has been issued for all residents within a 10-mile radius of the Indian Point Energy Center in Buchanan due to a partial meltdown of one of the reactors in the plant. It has been confirmed that the plant has been destroyed due to Hurricane Brady. Due to the possible release of radioactive materials into the air, the following precautionary measures will be in effect for the safety of the public. A voluntary evacuation order has been issued for the 10-mile emergency planning zone, even though it being expanded is possible. Should an evacuation order be issued, evacuate to a safer location immediately if you hear an explosion. If an explosion occurs, put on an approved gas mask, mainly N95 or CBRN. Make sure you have inadequate set of supplies, such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a fully charged cell phone, a battery-powered radio with extra batteries, and a first aid kit to last you and your family for at least 14 days. Continue to monitor local media outlets for further information on this potentially dangerous situation. Messages transmitted at the request of the Westchester County Emergency Management Agency. A nuclear power plant warning has been issued for all residents within a 50-mile radius of the Indian Point Energy Center in Buchanan, New York. A general emergency has been declared at the plant due to a total core meltdown of reactor number 2, as a result from destruction from Hurricane Brady. In addition, a power excursion was reported, which has ignited a large fire inside the core as a result. The following actions need to be taken immediately for your safety. If you are located within the 50-mile emergency planning zone, evacuate immediately. Should you choose not to evacuate, you will be putting your life in extreme danger. When evacuating, tie a white towel to your mailbox or door, to show authorities who are aware of the situation. If you require assistance, do not use the towel. 
Should you require assistance, emergency management and law enforcement officials will escort you to the nearest pickup point. To prevent exposure to radioactive materials, put on an approved gas mask especially in 95 or CBRN. Make sure you turn off all heating and air conditioning systems, close all windows and doors, shut off all gas, and seal up any cracks with day or damp towels before you leave your house. Do not pick up relatives from hospitals or nursing homes. These facilities have their own emergency procedures and will act on them accordingly. Make sure you have an adequate set of supplies, such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a fully charged cell phone, a battery-powered radio with extra batteries, and a first aid kit to last you and your family for at least 14 days. Try to take only one car per family, if possible. If you hear an air raid siren in your area, that means you are in the warned area and you need to evacuate for your safety. Do not panic. Panic will only make the situation worse than it already is. Repeating, a nuclear power plant warning has been issued for residents within a 50-mile radius of the Indian Point Energy Center in Buchanan, New York due to a total meltdown of reactor number 2 due to destruction caused by Hurricane Brady. If you haven't evacuated already, do so now. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Governor of the States of New York and New Jersey. A civil danger warning has been issued for the entire states of New York and New Jersey. A large, uncontrollable fire has been reported at the Indian Point Energy Center in Buchanan, New York. It is likely that radioactive materials are in this fire and may be ejected into the atmosphere. Should this occur, the evacuation radius will be expanded to 100 miles. Firefighters have arrived in hazmat suits at the scene and will are trying to extinguish the blaze. If you choose not to evacuate, seek a fallout shelter immediately, as fallout can't spread into a large area very quickly. Fallout is a byproduct of nuclear attacks or explosions. 
prolonged exposure to fallout will result in radiation sickness and death. Once explosions occur, it will only take a minute for effects of fallout to spread. Make sure you have an adequate set of supplies for your shelter, such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a fully charged cell phone, a battery-powered radio with extra batteries, and a first aid kit to last you and your family for at least 14 days. Please stay tuned to local media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. Good morning. This is News 12, with a breaking story coming out of the city of Buchanan, New York. The Indian Point Energy Center in Buchanan, New York has suffered a total core meltdown in one of its reactors due to it being destroyed by Hurricane Brady. An immediate evacuation order has been put into effect for residents within a 100-mile radius of the plant. There is also the option of seeking a fallout shelter as well. Now I am receiving word that there is a large, uncontrollable fire at the plant and the fire has radioactive materials in it. Firefighters are at the scene in hazmat suits and are trying to extinguish this massive blaze. A civil danger warning is in effect for the entire states of New York and New Jersey due to the possibility of the plant exploding entirely, releasing every bit of nuclear material inside the plant, since nuclear fallout can spread over a large area. There is no reporter live at the scene since it is too dangerous right now. In other news, President Trump is expected to visit the remains of New York City in a few weeks to aid in the cleanup of the damage caused by Hurricane Brady. This is News 12, with a breaking story.
This is an emergency action notification requested by the White House. All EAS participants will follow activation procedures in the EAS operating handbook for a national level emergency. The President of the United States or one of his representatives will shortly deliver a message over the emergency alert system. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is Star 102.5 FM. We will continue to serve the Buffalo area. If you are not in this local area, tune now into stations providing news and information for your local area. This is the emergency alert system serving the Buffalo area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. We interrupt our regular programming at the request of the White House. This is the emergency alert system. All normal programming operations have been discontinued during this emergency. This is Star 102.5 FM. We will continue furnishing news, official information and instructions for the Buffalo area. If you are not in the Buffalo area, tune out to stations providing news and information to your local area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. Messages transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. At approximately 3.42 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, it has been confirmed that the Indian Point Energy Center in Buchanan, New York, has, in fact, exploded. The explosion was so powerful that a large mushroom cloud can't be seen as far west as Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, as far north as Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and as far south as Richmond, Virginia. This explosion has caused a meltdown of the other reactors of the plant. Radioactive fallout from this explosion is spreading rapidly in all four directions and will affect the following states, New Jersey, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, West Virginia, and Virginia. As a precaution, all residents of these states are strongly advised to seek a fallout shelter immediately as fallout can't spread over a large area. Fallout is a byproduct of radioactive materials. Prolonged exposure to these materials will result in radiation sickness and death. When an explosion occurs, it will only take a minute for the effects of fallout to spread. Make sure you have an adequate set of supplies for your shelter, such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a fully charged cell phone, a battery-powered radio with extra batteries, and a first aid kit to last you and your family for at least 14 days. If you cannot find a fallout shelter, the National Guard will lead you to one. Tune into local media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. The President of the United States has been moved into an undisclosed location and will speak on all news and radio stations shortly. Stand by for that message. Please stand by for a message from a representative of the President of the United States. Good afternoon, my fellow Americans. Even after the cataclysmic annihilation of New York City and surrounding areas due to Hurricane Brady, 
I have even more heartbreaking and unfortunate news to report to you on one of the darkest and most unfortunate times in our country's history. The Indian Point Energy Center in Buchanan, New York has exploded due to the plant being destroyed by Hurricane Brady. Eyewitnesses have reported seeing a massive mushroom cloud as far west as Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, as far north as Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and as far south as Richmond, Virginia. As a result of this explosion, radioactive materials are rapidly spreading in all four directions and will impact many states on the eastern seaboard. I never knew something was going to happen like this, ever in my life. We have had threats of nuclear war before over the last several years, but I never expected nuclear fallout coming from a nuclear power plant, even though we experienced the incident at the Three Mile Island nuclear power plant in Pennsylvania in 1979. I have a feeling that this could be the second coming of Chernobyl, but this could be even worse. Radioactive particles could be in these states for several years, even longer. I am advising all residents of the following states to seek a fallout shelter immediately, Maine, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Vermont, Connecticut, Massachusetts, New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, West Virginia, and Virginia. It is possible that more states will be placed under this order within the next few hours. Take food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a first aid kit, and a radio operated by batteries to last you and your family for at least 14 days. Do not leave your shelter, as you could be killed due to exposing yourself to radioactive fallout. If you do not have a fallout shelter, either the National Guard will take you to one, or go into an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building and avoid windows, doors, and outside walls while you are there. Do not panic. I repeat, do not panic. This is very important. Panicking will only make the situation worse than it already is. Even though America is facing a crisis, we will rise up as a nation stronger than ever. We will rebuild the areas that have been lost due to this situation. If we come together as American citizens, the country will be back to normal once again. Always have hope during these dark times. Thank you for listening to this message, and God bless the United States of America. That was a message from a representative of the President. We now return to the emergency alert system. This concludes activations of the emergency alert system. Normal programming may now resume.
This is an emergency action termination. The nuclear fallout from the explosion at the Indian Point Energy Center has cleared out of the area, and all residents are now free to exit their shelters at this time. However, there is still massive damage to areas that were covered with nuclear fallout. The National Guard is unavailable to rescue people from destroyed shelters. If your shelter was destroyed, call 911 and the National Guard, if possible, will send you to the nearest military base. All broadcast and cable systems are allowed to resume regular programming. Emergency broadcasts will now be handed over to state and local officials. This concludes all operations under the emergency alert system. Regular programming will now resume. Your government thanks you for your cooperation during this emergency.